Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, this is Henry and this is Scott Happel. He is actually one of our subscribers. Came down uh, to visit us for the day. Uh, we are on top of a two-story roof here and we just got done cleaning uh, all the panels. So all the panels are done. We had Scott going out there testing out the brush. Uh, he was checking it out. Here is the brush here. Here's the other panels. We just got clean. And so, uh, Scott, uh, question. How difficult was this uh, Solitech C? Not difficult at all. It was actually uh, easy. Pretty yeah. Impressed with it. yeah. Did you like it? Yep. Now, um, I had him sampling this out for the first time. And, you know, he... Uh, He's ordering his uh, product right now from Mark at AM Pressure Washing. He's getting his equipment ready. And we're going to help him out, you know, get started with his business like we do with you guys. So um, it's just kind of a treat for us to have him out here and asking the questions, you know, that, that you guys are probably asking or, or wondering. And, you know, we don't think about stuff like this because we've been in the business for a while. But for somebody like him, um, you know, it's... Uh, it's great to get you know feedback on that so with that being said you know how long did it take to have these panels done and clean with the Solitech brush 20 minutes 20 minutes yep. now is that 20 minutes cleaning them or is that 20 minutes set up just just cleaning them just cleaning them there you go and how many times did we go over these panels three times each panel up and down and okay so if you guys can imagine with a water fed brush going over these panels three times you cannot get this done in 20 minutes There's, it's almost a couple hours it's almost impossible you know so with this it's pretty clean we, we were able to get it clean and i'm going to hand this off to you there and you can ask me any questions you want uh scott so, so uh, what would you rate this roof's difficulty? One through ten. Uh, this one would be a five. A just five? because um, of the pitch, of, of the angle itself, um, you really, really have to um, pay attention when you're up here. Uh, just putting up the ladders. When we're working on a pitch like this, we're not working here to where we're leaning over because it's too dangerous. So we want to go one foot on one side, one foot on the other. And, you know, if you are really good and you want to go out there and do it a little better, you get close, put your foot on the panel, and you can work this way. As long as your body is straight up, you won't have any problems. If you're leaning forward and that brush takes you, then it's going to be up and over so for example if we're looking at the brush position and we are here and we're all the way at the edge and if we're forward like this that basically goes over if this goes over you're probably going to go with it so you always want to have to work straight up like this and back and forth and so forth and your hand motion here back and try to get if you want to get this edge you want to hit it at the edge for a slight little bit slide it over to where it's coming across and then back but your body is straight up all the time coming back here 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 okay this is just the natural thing of the brush and then come up over and on the edge same thing here coming up here at the edge about a quarter of a way and then back up and you're done that's it that's as far as that takes and you're done there so it's important that um, you're not leaning forward and you're not going out there and um, having your body weight forward because you end up going to go over especially if something gets caught with this brush the momentum is going to take you so but it's a lot easier it's a lot easier to control you can have this done have it clean and a quarter of a time than you can with a water-fed pole a brush um, it does take a bit 
So that's pretty much it. Any other questions there, Scott? Nope. All right, cool. Well, we're going to go ahead and um, go back and uh, get off of this roof. We see uh, Rick down there working the system. And this is the edge. I'm going to show you guys what the edge that we literally have to walk on in order to get down to the first ladder. You see the ladder right there? There's not much room on this edge. We got Rick down there and you know, so we gotta literally walk down this edge and for somebody that's uh, brand new doing this, you know, it's, yeah, it can it's be pretty scary. It's pretty scary. Um, so with that being said guys, Appreciate you guys watching the videos. Thank you guys. Uh, have a nice weekend. Nice Easter weekend. These panels are clean. They're done. Want to, you know, thank Scott for coming down and spending the day with us. Uh, I think he learned quite a bit. Yeah, I did. So, um, with that being said, we appreciate you guys watching our videos. And uh, we'll see you guys from sunny Southern California. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. See ya. Peace.